Kirby's Avalanche. Welcome to Kirby's Avalanche. So just a few months after the release of Kirby's Dream Course came Kirby's Avalanche. Kirby's Avalanche is kind of an odd standout, but it also fits with the time. After the success of Kirby's Dream Land and later Kirby's Adventure, Nintendo knew they had a character that they could have some fun with. So they started making a number of side games, which we've seen so far between Dream Course and what have you. But a lot of these games were games that were either already in development and simply reskinned to be Kirby, or more elaborately remade in one form or another. While on the Kirby train, Puyo Puyo had been doing fairly well. But it's a little bit hard to bring Puyo Puyo to the West. Simply because the originating series wasn't as big over here, and I'm willing to bet even the style of humor and characters involved were maybe a bit much to dump on everybody over here without us especially knowing what was going on. So, Super Puyo Puyo was localized a bit oddly in that they used existing franchises in order to bring it over. This was done with Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine to bring it to the Genesis. I think it was the Genesis. And Kirby as Kirby's Avalanche to bring it to the Super Nintendo. Kirby's Avalanche is Super Puyo Puyo. Um, Kirby's Avalanche. It has a light skin of paint on top, but that's it. Even things like the background and the title screen that you see here are very similar to what was in Super Puyo Puyo. The one Kirby in the background dancing back and forth some, it's the same as Super Puyo Puyo. Now, unfortunately, this is a game that I am not good at. Not even remotely. So this is going to be kind of like the golf game, or the pinball game, Kirby's Pinball Land, that we showed off before, where I'm just going to kind of putz around and let you guys know about the game, but I'm not going to really be playing it. In fact, you're probably going to get more out of watching these demos than you're going to get out of me playing it. I'm going to be lucky to beat the first stage. Um, but a lot of the time, you see, as with Super Puyo Puyo, you have the various characters that you're going up against playing. You're playing as Kirby most of the time, whereas in Super Puyo Puyo, you played as... Uh, but I can't remember her name. Um... But then the little Kirby that you saw there in the middle of the screen is un or was another super Puyo or another Puyo Puyo character. Um, I think it started with an M. Carbuncle? I don't remember. I don't think it started with an M. Maybe it did. I don't remember. Um, but it bouncing around, and that's what all the same characters, all the Kirby's that were in the background here, um, combined with the one that's moving around a little bit. But Puyo Puyo, as well as Kirby's Avalanche, are both competitive puzzle games. Think something like Tetris Attack or Magical Drop. So you see, you get the blobs that come down. You have to match four of the same color in order to make a match. And they then destroy themselves and all the other blobs fall down. You can then make chains. by having them fall in and match with others, which increases the number of garbage uh, garbage that you're going to send to your opponent. So let's go ahead and see what we're in for here. Okay, practice. I'm going to look at what it even is. So is this just one player v two player? Is that all practices? So 
so you kind of want to set up threes and then have something else drop onto them. So I want to put that green there, and then if I can get a red... Oh, that'll actually be good. That'll be a couple. Bam, bam, bam! Yeah! Yeah, so you kind of want to set up threes. Um, that way you can drop one on top of another. So, like here, if I can get um, a couple yellows built up. That's not gonna go well. Not what I wanted to do! Whatever, I'm just gonna do this. Oh no, we're going faster, we're going faster! Get a red, we can drop right there. Okay, you get the idea. How do I like how do I exit? Do I just top out? Kirby's Avalanche. Okay, so practice. That's probably good to get me in there. Anyway. Okay, so I don't know what the difference between practice and 1v2 is, because they seem like the same thing. Um, competition is the story mode, if you could call it that, where you fight character after character after character as you work your way through. There's a bit of dialogue between them. And what ha You know what, let's go ahead and do this. Waddle D. Oh boy, Waddle D. The game was praised for its voice acting at the time. Also, Kirby talks? in this game, and Kirby does not have any chill. <laughs> this is actually the only game I can think of that has Kirby speaking. Off the top of my head, I cannot think of any other game where Kirby speaks. Oh, thanks for the hint. Hmm, yeah, sure. I mean, I guess. I was gonna try to set something up, but that's probably better. Um... Yeah! Eat it! I mean, I'm just sending singles over to him. I'm not really, like, sending garbage. So I don't know how useful the hints are in that regard. Oh, red and green. I know there's a next over there that shows what's coming up next. I do not have the foresight to understand how useful that knowledge is. And to plan accordingly. I just... I don't got it. down there. I mean, I guess. So what are we playing towards? Am I trying to top him out? Because I don't know if I'm ever going to top him out at the pace that I'm playing. Unless he just gets hilariously bad. Oh no, he's sending stuff at me. Oh no, he sent stuff at me! Okay, you go over there. You go there. Purple? I don't know what I'm doing with purple. Go over there. So you have to make matches in order to get rid of stuff? No, 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 don't send more stuff. Don't send more stuff! Dang it! This is supposed to be the tutorial! Why are you kicking my butt?
Well, that's two matches. I'll take two matches. Okay, we cleared out some garbage. Hey, Naka, aren't you the one who actually made a competitive puzzle game? Yeah, it doesn't mean I'm good at them! Sure. I should have put it to the right. Oh man! Um... Yeah, I was gonna say, I want a yellow. That did not do what I wanted it to do. That, however, did. Oh yeah, get that chain. Oh, that was nice. They let me move it. After it kind of bonked. Yo, can you just die so I can do something else? Okay, we got some greens. I'll take the greens. Like, you want to set up chains or you're never going to get anything done. If I'm learning anything, it's that. Oh, that'll be good. So I don't want to get this. I want to set up a chain. And then I want to get rid of the reds. Well, whatever. I won. I did it! I beat the game! Bronto Bert! Excitement. Um, anyway... Anyway, um, I'm gonna go ahead and call this here because one match takes ten years because I can't play. So, I'm going to say, there are, like, plenty of amazing uh, long plays and real skillful plays out there of this game if you want to see, if you want to see it. Um, unfortunately, you're not really getting that here. But, until next time, everyone, um, I'm actually going to take a brief break from all the Kirbys. So I can do, uh, one or two other things, and then we'll be right back to it. So until next time, everybody.